In a business process, subprocesses have a number of uses, including hiding the complexity of a business process or defining a contextual scope that can be used for data visibility, transactional scope, or the handling of internal and external exceptions of events. Besides simple subprocesses, BPMN defines three special types of subprocess. A call subprocess represents a reusable subprocess. It identifies a point in the process where a global subprocess is used. A call subprocess object must have a thick boundary line. An event based subprocess is used within a process or subprocess. It's not part of the normal flow of its parent process, which means that it has no incoming or outgoing sequence flows. An event subprocess is started by an event, like a time condition or message received. There are two possible consequences to the parent process when an event subprocess is triggered. Either the parent process is interrupted or the parent process can continue its work. This is determined by the type of start event used, interrupting or non-interrupting. An event subprocess should be drawn with a single thin dotted line. A transactional subprocess is a double lined object and is controlled through a transaction protocol. A transactional subprocess can result in three outcomes. Successful completion is modeled with a normal sequence flow that leaves the transaction. Failed completion is modeled with a sequence flow starting at a cancel intermediate event. This occurs if any of the predetermined criteria of failure are met or if an abort message is received. In both cases, the non-normal flow is executed, meaning that none of the tasks in the transaction are completed. Hazard is modeled with a sequence flow starting at an error intermediate event. A hazard means that something went terribly wrong, and so a normal success or cancellation is not possible. When a hazard occurs, none of the tasks in the transaction will be executed or compensated. 